Shauna treats my granddaughter like her own personal Cinderella. She's making her do household chores that an 11 or 12 year old should not have to do. I do have her do chores. Sometimes they're her punishment, and other times it's just because they need done. She has to do the dishes, sweep the floor. She does wipe down the cabinets, mop the floor, she vacuums, picks up the dirty clothes, clean behind the couches. I make her do the laundry. If she does not do her chores correctly, she not only has to redo them, but I'll add another one on. One time, Shauna had my granddaughter in the hot sun when it was over 90 degrees that day, cleaning out the inside of her car for hours. Another time, I walked in and she was scrubbing down the kitchen with undiluted bleach. It's absolutely ridiculous. Her own father says Shauna is like the wicked stepmom. Around the house, Shauna doesn't do much of anything. She spends most of her time sleeping on the couch, even though she only works six hours a day, four days a week. I've been taking my granddaughter to school for the past four years just to make sure that she gets there because when she was in kindergarten, she had 60 absences from school because her mom would not get up and take her. My granddaughter is more of a mom to her little sister than Shauna is. She has to feed her, clothe her, bathe her, change her diapers, everything that a mom would do. She helps out with her sister with no complaints because she enjoys doing it. Shauna is neglecting her duties as a mom and she needs to step up to the plate and take responsibility. Okay, do you think what your daughter's doing is abusive? Absolutely. Do you think it's negligent? Yes, very negligent. Okay, why have you not called the police? Why have you not reported it to Child Protective Services? If you know it and you're allowing this child to be abused and neglected, why have you not done anything about it? Well, it's really tough when the person that's abusing her is my daughter. And I'm a foster mom, so I've been in the system. I know a little bit about CPS, and you know, I've tried to kind of behind the scenes, um, you know, see if there's some sort of recourse that we can do without actually calling CPS and reporting her. That's all new to me. My mother does not live in my home. She does not see what goes on there 24-7. She gets Jade's side of it. And you know, what I see is you out of control a lot when it comes to Jade. <clears throat> That's what I see. If you're doing only what you are admitting to doing, you are abusing this child. 